Hey guys, I figured I'd do one more quick video on this uh, canopy cutting. As you know, I have Sangeet Samuel's um, Venturi intake, uh, cold air intake. So being I have that, I am uh, go I need to cut my canopy so fresh air can get into it. So I went ahead and I outlined where the intake is below the canopy. And all I did like was take this work light as I shown you uh, as I did for the cut out of the canopy mounts, etc. So anyways, just take the work light, place it in the canopy. And you can see if you don't position it correctly, the shadow of where this venturi is located moves. So I moved it back and forth like this and then stayed within the far ends of the shadow. So more than likely I'll be inside of the intake and not on the outside of it. And I'll drill a hole in the middle somewhere and take a look with uh, my eye and not just through the canopy and verify that. So anyways, uh, I didn't think it would look good just having a big hole here. So I went ahead and did this design. I just rounded it off on the edges and kind of brought it in. I think it looks cool. And it just kind of something like this, you know, it matches. It, it's not just a plain circle hole. So that, that'll look cool. And then I'll do a, uh, I'll cut the exhaust out next. But this thing's getting close to being completed. I'm really having second thoughts about running this 1.5 millimeter thick carbon boom. And the reason is, even though it looks really nice, this 1.5 millimeter thick boom is just super strong. And I more than likely will crash this helicopter sometime and my fear is that being it's so strong when this helicopter crashes it's not the boom's not going to break you know it's so strong the boom's not going to break more than likely it's going to hit the ground and it's going to bend up a bunch of tail components instead of bending um it might rip the frames instead of bending you know instead of shearing off and bending and it might get shoved in so far and hit other, you know, components in the heli up here. So I don't, I really don't think it's a good idea to run the 1.5 millimeter boom. Um, I probably will run it just so I can get it broken in. I'm not too sure yet. Um, it kind of sucks that I'm, you know, have to take it apart. So I kind of don't feel like doing it right now, but I, I probably should, but... Anyways, uh, I drilled one hole for my header tank, but it, it was hitting the canopy. I didn't have the canopy all the way fitted when I mounted this, so I got to move, drill a new hole and move it back. I might see what this hole is for and see if I can use that. Looks like that hole is not used. So anyways, my header tank's going to go there. And, uh... I got a hole drilled in the back. I'm going to put a countersunk screw there and make another post like I did here. And all this is is a piece of an old tail control rod with a piece of fuel tubing that is cut longer than the fuel. I mean, longer than the uh, carbon rod. So when you screw it in, it compresses the fuel tubing so it's kind of a soft mount and it's not a rigid mount and that should kind of prevent um, you from getting so many uh, bubbles um, foam in your tank so anyways that's where I'm at I thought I'd show that thanks as you can see I've completed the cutout for the exhaust and the intake for the engine and I opened it up up top here so I can get my starter in there. 
as you can see it turned out pretty cool I got the Venturi and this out it follows the Venturi outline perfectly so I'll get nice good fresh air into that engine the canopy uh, the cutting for the exhaust turned out pretty perfect I went ahead and used these Arma 1/10 uh, body clip retainers so I won't have to worry about losing my clips. Um, on this side, I still need to cut a hole for my needles and that shouldn't take long. That's a pretty quick task so I'm not too worried about that but that, that'll just be one little hole. Not a big deal. But this uh, cutting of the canopy is quite in labor intensive and you really need to take your time and do it right, not rush. Uh, if, if you go rushing and just eyeballing things and not measuring, and double checking your measurements and just going hog wild with it, you're going to mess it up and you're going to destroy your nice canopy. So take your time and do it right. I used a round file after I dremeled it as well as a flat file to finish off my edges but really excited to get the canopy cutting done as well as getting my exhaust mounted this is a Hattori 91 SRX pipe the the newest version before they discontinued uh, the, you know before the brand went under so this is a really nice pipe it's a bit wider than the regular YS pipes and a bit longer and this thing makes a ton of power so with this modified 96 SRX I got in it with the OS carb this this thing is gonna make a ton of power but it looks really sharp all nice and shiny now um, like I said I used a uh, headlight restoration kit and I used the finest uh, polish first which is a it's a sanding uh, piece of sandpaper that attaches to the end of it and it was 800 grit I believe I went over it with 800 grit and then I uh, wiped it down and I threw some mother's polish on the polish uh, pad that it comes with and then went over it with that and there's still some little micro scratches but it's very very minimal um, as you can see I get a pretty good reflection it's not a mirror finish but it's pretty dang good so anyways uh, basically what I got left to do is the wiring and as soon as I'm done the wiring I will finish mounting this frame side on and I've decided I'm gonna probably take this carbon boom off and uh, put the stock boom on because uh, I'm worried about crashing it and uh, this boom just tearing up things because it's so strong but it's getting close and I can't wait because this thing's gonna be a ripper really looking forward to it it's a really high quality heli